Hello, WCA families. We continue to pray that our students and families are safe and doing well. Please know that we miss all of our students, K3 through 8th grade. And I want to take this time to follow up on a message I sent out earlier this week about continuing the school year with distance learning. As I stated, for me, it was a sad announcement because I was hoping there might be the possibility that our students and teachers could come back on campus for a few weeks before the end of the school year. But with the announcement by our governor that schools would remain with distance learning for the remainder of the school year, we knew we would also continue the year with distance learning. However, we want to do everything we can to highlight the school year. We've had a tremendous school year in many ways, and we want to finish the year strong. All of our students, preschool, elementary, and middle school have had a great year, one of the best years we've ever had, and we're very thankful for our students. Having said that, we are currently planning four virtual events for the end of the school year so our students can celebrate their accomplishments. The four events are the Academic Awards Chapel, the Athletic Awards Chapel, K-5 Graduation, and the 8th grade graduation. And you'll be hearing more about each of these events in the coming few weeks. Also, we've had an exciting week. I want to thank our wonderful PTF for another great Teacher Appreciation Week. Our PTF moms are very creative. And even though we weren't on campus this year, that didn't stop them from organizing amazing ways to honor and thank our teachers. Our parents made videos for all areas of our school, drive-by thank you visits for teachers, literally drive-by parades for teachers. I saw one on Wednesday. Dropping off gift baskets and lunches, gift guards, and many other ways to thank our teachers. Our teachers truly felt appreciated and loved. And on behalf of all of our teachers, we say thank you. Thank you, PTF, and to all of our parents for always being a great blessing to our school. We truly feel appreciated and loved, and we thank you. And I'm once again reminded what the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus. I have not stopped giving thanks for you remembering you in my prayers. And our teachers and staff can say the same thing. We have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in our prayers. We praise God for you. We love you. We miss you. God bless you and your families.